everybody, it's Bunny. I am back. Just a quick update for all who are still concerned. Man Cat has not returned, and uh, late, late this Friday will mark one week of his disappearance, so... But I just have to take an extra moment to sincerely thank each and every one of you guys for your comments. I've been reading them all throughout the day and the night when I can't sleep and stuff like that. I've been reading the comments that y'all left on my last video and the comments that you've been leaving on my Facebook page and even a few of you on Tumblr and Instagram and it really does give me hope and it really makes me feel so good to know that you guys really do care about me and about man cat. I mean, needless to say, I'm still really depressed about it, and I meant to come back and make a video yesterday, but I just ended up laying on the floor and crying instead. I just got to the point this afternoon where I was like, well, I'm either just going to stop existing and become part of the floor, or the show must go on. So, uh, here I am. I guess if there's any, like, status updates about Man Cat, you guys will be the first to know, I promise. It's been a pretty awkward couple days. I just, I don't know, it's kind of like I started to take a vow of silence, because I just, I haven't been talking to, like, anyone on planet Earth. I went to the mall last night for some retail therapy, and I went into free people, and I just, like, made my wants and needs known by pointing at things and like just I don't know they probably thought I just like flew in from the moon I did get this really awesome dress it's so great I don't even know this looks like a dress that like I would wear if my profession was like cooking pancakes for lumberjacks like up on some kind of mountain or something which I'm pretty sure is not an actual career this dress is really comfortable and uh, it's really great for napping in which is like the number one criteria for all clothes that I may ever purchase I'm just like, mm, could I nap in this? Like, could I just spontaneously fall asleep right where I'm standing? I love this straw, too. It's really, like, covered in lipstick, and that's nasty, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because, you know, right now it's the small things that keep my boat floating. Um, look, this straw is, like, salmon-colored. It's not pink. It's not red. It's salmon colored. I would know what salmon look like because they swim in the fresh stream of the mountain where I cook the flapjacks just... Today, for like my like coming back to the living just and learning to talk again, trying to teach myself to re-talk because I don't... Does that happen to other people? Like you just stop talking and then it's like you forget how to like talk to anyone and even like yourself because I'm both talking to somebody and not talking to somebody right now just it's happening. For my grand return I decided I would do a shoe unboxing today. Actually they're boots uh, because I still have feet. I actually got these boots on Halloween and since I've had them for a week now I've basically been wearing these every single day ever since I got them in the mail so it's kind of good because I've already like done a test run so I can like legitimately tell you guys about them. These shoes were sent to me by Soulstruck for free. They came in the mail, so let's just get that out of the way right off the bat. To be honest, I have looked at these shoes like time and time again for at least probably like two months. I think I even posted a picture of these on my Tumblr page once. Life is just a burr, a burr, a burr lately. Life is a burr. Whatever that may be. These shoes are, they're not shoes. God. Stop. Rewind. These boots are the uh, Freebird Caballero boots by Steven. And they've got this nice little, like, bird. And he looks pretty free. Like, you know, he's going somewhere. Like, maybe to deliver this message, you know? Like, bye, Steven. He's just gonna, like, float over and drop that on somebody. And they'll be like, bye, Steven. Oh my god, that sounds... Oh! It's like a new phrase. You know how people say, like, bye, George? Nobody ever says that anymore, but, like, those really old, like, British movies. Bye, George. Just really bad British accent, but just bye, Stephen. I don't know. Uh, free bird, bye, Stephen. Now I will show you guys the boots, and if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen them. I posted the picture yesterday. They are all handmade in Mexico. They are leather and vintage blanket pieces, and they're really kind of hard for me to show you guys in, like, landscape. I want to say, like, hot dog thing. Didn't they make y'all do that in school where you had to fold the paper like a hamburger or a hot dog? Just, like, anytime I film videos, like, with the camera horizontally, I'm like, it's in hot dog vision. It's like, what? 
Are you even talking? Just hot dog. I know that the very first thing that everybody's gonna probably do is like click the link down below and find out that these boots are not cheap. I mean, I'm from Texas. I'm still in Texas. Uh, boots are not a cheap thing. Like if you go to any store in Austin and you buy like a really high quality pair of handmade leather boots, they are not cheap. If you, you could go literally to any store in Austin and probably find like a $2,000 pair of boots. Like most boots are like $800. That's just like the price you pay for a really high quality handmade leather boot that's gonna last you a lifetime. Any kind of boot like this, as long as you, you know, maintain it properly and, you know, treat it and clean it, these boots will literally last me a lifetime of wear. They are super, super, super comfortable. They're very easy to put on and off. They've got this little zipper on the side, so it's not like something that you have to, like, struggle to put on and off. These come right below my knee and my other like right below the knee boots that I have that are kind of I don't know like kind of styled similar at the top like this if that makes any sense are my leather riding boots and they are really hard to get on and off because they don't have this zipper so that's one of the things that I absolutely love about these boots is that like I don't have to have a friend there to help me pull them on and off I can just like you know take them off myself. The other great wonderful thing about these boots that I love is that they hold their shape when they're on. They don't have that like saggy baggy elephant syndrome because that is my number one peeve. It literally makes me like throw up in my mouth a little when there are you know boots that reach up to the knee that kind of like sag down when you put them on. These do not do that. They hold their shape. But the great thing about these is that I can wear them and I have worn them two different ways. I've worn them with jeans inside of them like corduroy jeans and there's still plenty of room it's not like cutting off the circulation to my leg. Or I can wear them just like you know with shorts and just like bare leg just put my foot in the boot um, and they still hold their shape and they're really comfortable they've got the slit cut in the back where they come to the knee so they don't like chafe or rub or anything if you do want to wear them with shorts it's still extremely hot here like literally it's gotten up into the 90s in the past couple days so I've definitely been wanting to wear these and kind of like get into the fall spirit with the colors and everything but still kind of like stay reasonably cool and not like you know layer too many layers with boots and jeans and yada yada yada. They do have a little bit of a heel to them but you know obviously it's not like a high heel or anything where I have to worry about like tripping or slipping. The sole of the boot gives you great traction. I've literally been running on tons of graveled surfaces so you know they are handmade, hand-tooled leather, so this isn't like, oh, you know, I'm wearing the boot down to nothing already. It just scuffs up with, like, you know, real cowboy boots like this, because any kind of, like, you know, real high-end boot that I've ever had, it does kind of, like, you know, get this worn kind of texture on the bottom, but, you know, the sole is thick, so you're not gonna, like, wear through it really quick. This is the uh, cognac color, and the style is the caballero. I'm not saying that right. Am I saying that right? I feel like I should like say it with more or like something really cool. There is another shade. It is a much, much lighter texture and a lighter fabric here. And I don't remember what that shade was called because I've really always had my heart set on the cognac color. I love the reds. You know, I wear like red lipstick every day. So I was like, oh, these boots match my face. If you do love the styling of the Freebird boot here. They offer like several different heights of them and by that I mean like you know like I guess they're called like calf level boots. If you're familiar with my Luxury Jones boots they're, they're kind of like you know they're like this tall they're not like up to the knee boot. I'm having a really difficult time explaining everything today. They're basically you know just like the traditional length cowboy boot and then they also make some just like uh, you know like I guess ankle boot. <laughs> 
obviously that's what they're called. They come to your ankles. I guess there is not too much else to say about these except for they are so comfortable. I have been living in them every single day since Halloween. I did all of my errands on November 1st, you know, like where you go and you get all the Halloween goodies half off. I wore these boots all day and I literally was up on my feet like going all over earth and I've never gotten a blister from these. I've coupled them with lots of different socks like little athletic socks and also the really thin like boot socks and it doesn't really matter what socks that I wear. Maybe some people think this is gross but the other day I wore these with absolutely no socks and I still didn't get a blister so they fit really well but it's not like really tight or uncomfortable. If you're looking for a really really good staple fall boot. Uh, these are definitely a really awesome pick. You know, they're very, very unique with the print and the pattern. As a boot connoisseur, I can tell you that this is an extremely high quality pair of boots. And just when you touch the leather, it just feels like that nice, worn, vintage-y kind of feel, you know, where it's just really, like, supple and smooth. But, you know, once again, it's, like, not, like, old and worn, you know, I don't know. It's like you get the benefit of a worn vintage boot while still getting a brand new boot. So, yay. So you will definitely uh, see a lot of these, I'm sure, in my outfit of the day uh, post, or actually my outfit of the week, which I swear they're coming. It's just, I feel like anytime I try and like plan anything, it's just like ice cubes. I am very thankful for the opportunity to have these and style them and, uh, and to share them with you guys because I just, I don't know, I just like talking about things with you guys, literally. So thank you for being my therapy. I put them on yesterday and I ended up like pirouetting in them. I just was like twirling. <laughs> Where is my mind lately? That should be like a, a fun clip. I don't know. I didn't just do like the standard like walking because I kind of had to think about it differently, you know, to like fit the whole shoe in the frame for you guys to kind of like be able to see. So I ended up spinning. Cut to the clip now. Wow. you guys enjoyed this video and I think I'm gonna start posting again every single day just because I don't know I need to like I don't know I need to get back into the swing of things and I really miss when I was doing that every day in October for the first part of October before Halloween came and it was just like no can't do anything I will start a vlog ember <laughs> thank vlogging <laughs> thank ogging Funkogging. That sounds like a magical machine. Thank you once again so much to Soulstruck for sending these over to me. I love them a lot. Please take a minute to subscribe. I would totally appreciate you guys sticking around, becoming a member of the Swamp family, and thank y'all so much once again um, for all your thoughts and prayers for Man Cat's return and all the wonderful comments, and I cannot say thank you enough, nor can I convey currently to you guys how much it truly means to me. Um, and thank you for listening to my crying blabbering the other day. It's nice to have friends. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. The link to these boots from Soulstruck will be in the info box if you want to take a look at them. Also, if you want, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or my personal favorite, Instagram, and there I am also at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelt here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.